Welcome to your silly node and before we jump into installing KVM I'm just going to explain in brief what is KVM uh, it's short for kernel based virtual machine it's an open source virtualization technology for Linux OS and uh, it can function as a hypervisor that runs multiple isolated virtual machines and what is a hypervisor you might ask it's a it's a pool of computing resources like processing memory and storage and it reallocates them among vms uh, a hypervisor can run multiple vms at once manage them and support the creation of new ones the physical hardware when used as a hypervisor is called the host while the many VMs that use its resources are guests. So I think that's enough information to get started in my opinion. So to install KVM, we first need to check if your virtualization is enabled or not. So you open your terminal and uh, type this command. which will tell you if your virtualization is turned on or not. I'm currently using AMD CPU for this tutorial. Uh, so I'm getting AMD hyphen V. And if you're on Intel CPU, uh, you'll get something like VT hyphen X if it's enabled. If it's not enabled, then you'll have to go to your BIOS settings and uh, turn it on so after you're done enabling your virtualization in your system you need to run this command with sudo i'm just going to explain in brief what these packages are going to do so i'll just quickly go through it so QEMU full is uh, something that provides user space for KVM emulator. It manages communication between hosts and uh, VMs. QEMU image provides create, convert, modify and uh, snapshot offline disk images. Libvirt is an open source API daemon and tool for managing platform virtualization. Word install is a CLI tool to create guest VMs. Word manager is a GUI tool to create and manage uh, guest VMs. Word viewer is a GUI console to connect to running VMs. And uh, this slash here is a line continuation character used in Unix like shells such as Linux. Uh, EDK2 OVMF here is it enables UEFI support for VMs. DNS mask is a lightweight DNS forwarder and DHCP server. SWTPM is a TPM emulator for VMs. Guest FS tools is uh, something that provides a set of extended CLI tools for managing VMs. LibOS info is a library for managing OS information for virtualization. And finally, Tune D which is a system tuning service for Linux, allowing us to optimize the hypervisor for speed. So after you run this command, you'll need to put your super secret SU password and it will install these many things on your system. I'll say yes. Now 
now all the packages are installed and let's see if uh, we are able to run our uh, VM it says unable to connect to libvirt QEMU system let's see how to resolve this problem going to chat GPT and uh, to start and enable the libvirt service we need to copy this command and if we want to start the service on boot we'll run this command okay now I think our er error should go away and this should connect let's restart the application it's asking for my password and now it's connecting it's not giving us any error now it's connected so to test let's create a virtual machine let's install arch linux on this let's give it 8 gb ram and 10 cpu cores or 8 cpu cores and we'll give it 40 GB of uh, disk space we'll call it Arch Linux VM since it, it is a VM and as soon as I click on finish it's going to run let's click on yes and we'll say allow as you can see our virtual machine is running so that's all for today guys so i hope you enjoyed my video and uh, if you did please uh, hit that like button and if you think this information helped you in any way subscribe to the channel and i will see you in the next video